Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and we are here to do an update for Aries for the end of January. So this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind that this reading may or may not be for you. It is what it is, right? This will be my third January reading for Aries, so you can find the other two in the playlist. We're going to get one of these, then we're going to use this deck. When a card falls out, I take it. I take it as a message. Ooh, ah, yikes, failure. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. So you guys are learning, or you've learned something from a past mistake, something big, right? In reality, there is no such thing as failure, right? Because you have to find a way to rise above it. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. There's no failures. That's what this card says. There's no failures. Everything that you've been through has been a learning experience. Aries. What do we got for Aries? End of January 2019. Basically, that means you guys have learned something. Just so you know, it means that you have learned a lesson. Peace. Beautiful. Thank you, Lord, right? This is finding peace with your past. Finding peace with the mistakes. Finding peace within yourself. Realizing that whatever happened was meant to happen as it was, right? Very peaceful at this time. Acceptance. Aries. What else does Aries? What do we got? What do we have for Aries? What do we have for Aries? End of January. Aries. <laughs> if you're single, I don't know who this is for, but I keep hearing you're you're gonna meet your soulmate. You're gonna meet your soulmate soon. this but you have to open your heart you're gonna have to let your guard down and you know it does look like you are beginning to realize you're beginning to re you're going through some sort of recovery some sort of tension that you have held on to in regards to perhaps thinking you were failed at something is being released. You may have lost your focus for a minute. Hmm. You may be holding on to some anger. There, somebody could have uh, been not very nice to you, obviously. I think that you, I mean, you could be dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or any other sign, because we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn as well. You, you have, we have, uh, 
And we have fire, so we have all the signs here. It looks like somebody is needing to see something from a new perspective, needing to be more optimistic about love. And, un, you know, you got to open your heart. You have to really make yourself completely emotionally available. Basically, don't hold on to the past, the mistakes. Be open to new possibilities. Really be open. I see there's reluctance. There's reluctance to really let anybody get close. I think there's some observation here. Somebody could be, you know, interested in another person. But the, the need to protect yourself is pretty big. Ooh, this is taking back control, breaking free, breaking free from the tension, the conflict, that you, the inner conflict, the inner demons. You know, those inner demons about failure, about, you know, possibly failing again or whatever the case is. That's protect, your, you know, those are your own subconscious ways of protecting yourself. You know, there may be some bitterness within you that you need to cut out. Jeez, I'm crow, are we going to get any uprights here? It's like... <laughs> There's an absence of optimism. You're not treating yourself fairly. Because somebody else didn't treat you fairly, now you're not treating yourself fairly. Somebody didn't treat you right. Both of these cards reverse. There's lack of integrity, you know. Lesson learned. Lesson learned, right? Don't let that continue to take, steal your power, to take control. The devil reversed. If you allow somebody that didn't want to be held accountable, somebody that didn't treat you right, to continue to hinder your peace, Then you're you're gonna continue to be alone. This is a lonely person, very alone, independent. It is. I think there's this is also an could you signify an ex? There's an ex that did not treat you right. They didn't, and they're still in control because you're allowing it. You take back your power by opening your heart again to somebody else. Anyway. Oh, now we got one up, right? There's your worries. There's your sleepless nights. That's your anxiety. That's your fears. You know, the next one is the Ten of Swords. It, there's, it's time to end this mentality, okay? The mentality that you got to protect yourself, that you're not good enough for anybody, that you just need to be alone, you know? You are good enough. Take back control. Break free. Break free from this mentality. Break free, the devil reverse, from this mentality. That you have to have put a guard up. That you have to protect yourself. Go out there. Date. Have fun. Be playful. Let your friends help you. This is really a time to celebrate. Celebrate your independence. Celebrate your self. You have multiple options. But it's always your choice, right? It's always your choice. You choose. You get to choose. What do you want? Do you want to do you want to be alone? Do you want to continue to treat yourself unfairly because somebody else treated you unfairly? Or do you want to choose a different option? You have options. You have a choice here. You get to make a choice. Right now, you are in the process. You have to make a decision.
and I think that you're really worried. You're really worried about, you know, perhaps getting in a third party situation. You're worried about, you know, being taken advantage of. You're worried about being lied to. You, uh, hold on, let me get it just focused. You're worried about, you know, being manipulated, you know, you are. But, but it's time, like I said, to break free of that mentality because you have another option here. You definitely have another choice. Now, you know that I usually focus on love, so we're going to see what comes up. There could be somebody that is watching you or you're watching somebody from your past. Whoever. there's, Or it doesn't even have to be somebody from your past. I, I'm not sure who it is. This Knight of Swords reversed. <laughs> well, this this isn't the page. It's a knight. So this could be lack of courage, lack of, lack of strength, okay? This is fear. Fear. fear of getting tied to anybody else right fear of a relationship that's what it is the knight of swords reversed with the knight of cups there's fear of a relationship because you don't want to get involved in any games right i don't want to play games with you guys i don't want to play games with anybody i'm at peace right now i failed in the past f that shit right right Oh, this, remember, <laughs> it's funny. I just said lack of strength. You need to find the strength, the confidence, and the willpower to pick yourself back up and put yourself out there. Take the power back from whoever is still in control. You got to take the power back if you're allowing them to hinder your success by hanging on to the, the thoughts, the pain, whatever. Let it go. <laughs> Easier said than done, huh? Yes, there is an opportunity for happiness here. Remember at the beginning I said you got a soulmate coming in? This is this is like this is a soulmate coming in. Four of Wands. You have another option. You have somebody that could make you really happy that would work together with you. Really work together and it'd be easy. I mean, really easy where you guys can do things without even speaking. You just, without even speaking to each other. It's like you just know, you just know, you do this, I'll do that, and it will just be a easy, an easy connection where you guys are like speaking to each other without even really speaking, you know? You just know, you just know. <laughs> I'm telling you what, you got somebody else. You have somebody that is truly emotionally available. And this person is probably, you know, crushing on you. They're interested in you. They're trying to offer you something. They want to offer you something. You guys got a new offer coming in. You could be receiving a message that really strikes your fancy. but And it could be somebody that you meet through your friends or meet through a dating app. But there's an opportunity to start something new here. To start a new playful partnership, okay? But <laughs> you gotta... You gotta come out of that difficult mindset that you have been in you got to end them negative thoughts seriously you're going to have to come out of your shell you're going to have to complete that cycle of pain that you have held on to right you have an opportunity to end that old cycle right now and begin again. Begin in a new direction.
It's the end of difficult. It's the end of difficulty. It's coming to an end. You have suffered long enough, okay? You have suffered long enough. There's been an injustice here. You know, somebody has really did you wrong, okay? Somebody has really done you want wrong with the justice reversed. They didn't have integrity. They didn't have backbone. They caused you to lose your focus. And now it's like you're taking back your power or you're gonna, you're being told to the devil reverse. It's like breaking free. And this is breaking free from that, that old difficult situation because now you'd have a new opportunity here, a new, uh, suitor perhaps that really has something emotional to offer you you know something happy these are both happy cards could make you happy make you feel good anyway right but you gotta come out of that victim mentality I mean you're not a victim of your circumstance nobody is Nobody is. You know, there's help available. This person could help you. It, it's like, I think there's somebody that is interested in you. They're crushing on you. They are flirting with you. You know, and there's an opportunity to uh, really let this person into your life. But you're going to have to realize that you, the old circumstance, whatever happened that's over, it's done. Let it go. It really, there's an end of difficulty here. The difficulty that you have been through is over. <coughs> Excuse me. I probably have another one. But I'm not going to hit pause because we've come this far. It would take twice as long to download if I edit it. The difficult period that you have been through is over. Okay, with this card and this card, it's over. You're probably going to start on something new. Real, like I said at the beginning, before I even drew any cards, we have a new soulmate connection here. And it's like, you're, I think you're ready for it. I do. I think that you're ready for it. Because I think that you guys are finally, finally breaking free from something that was toxic. And what should I say about this? <laughs> uh -huh. I mean, what can I say about this? The Emperor reversed. Anger. Not focused. Lost concentration. You guys have lost your concentration and held on to some anger and you probably things have probably been a little chaotic and out of control because you allowed somebody to steal your power for a long time, right? You did. Now it's time to take back control with the devil and this it's time to take back con with the devil reverse and if you flip this take back control of your life. Be the boss that you are. You are the boss of your life. Somebody has stolen your power for long enough and it's over. It is over. It is over. You guys haven't found the strength for quite some time to take back your power, right? You've let this person, whoever it is that betrayed you and lied to you and didn't own up to their end of the bargain, didn't, didn't keep their word, hinder you. You let them hinder you for so long. You have hinder your ability to open your heart again. It's time. It's time to close that chapter. It's time to move away from that situation completely. It's over. It's over. It's time to turn away from that situation completely. That that situation, that, that relationship, that old place that felt like home is no more. 
It's no more because you're about to begin a new new chapter. You are with somebody else. You are. There's somebody else coming into your life. I know that there is. Um, I think I think that somebody is coming. They may be a little bit younger than you. That is really going to. make you feel good this person is going to make you feel good they're going to make you realize that you're not a failure that that whole situation was karmic because of the justice reversed you had a lesson to learn and now you're ready now you're ready so we have somebody new coming in that is going to really make you feel good by the looks of things this person's been watching you and they're probably going to communicate really soon if they haven't already But, do you have time for this person? Do you? Are you too focused on your money? Are you too focused on your job? Are you too focused on everything but love? Maybe somebody's too materialistic and it's hindering their ability to, you know... Get involved. Get involved in a real relationship. <laughs> Death. It's the end. It's the end of what was. It's time for a new life. So you guys are about to start a new chapter, like I said. It's the end of what was. Lesson learned. Here's to your new beginning. This new beginning that you are about to become aware of, if you haven't already, is going to lead you to a lot of happiness with a partner that is easy to work with easy to communicate with this new partner is very emotionally available they're also going to help you this new partner is going to help you to heal they're going to help you to bring balance and peace back to your life they're not going to steal your energy so you guys are in the process or you're about to break free from a toxic situation. It's going to end. It's gonna, It's like it's all of a sudden it's just going to be over. It is. It's just going to be over. It's like all of a sudden it's just going to be like, I understand why this happened. I'm at peace. It's done. I'm ready for my new beginning. I'm ready for my transformation. And here it is. You're headed in a new direction and you're leaving behind the one that doesn't suit you. You see? There's the bride getting away. She's she's gone. She's like, no, sorry, you're not the one. <laughs> you guys are realizing that somebody, that whatever something didn't work out, it's just like, you know, I'm not going to make that. I'm not going to hang on to you. I'm not going to hang on to, I know you're not the one, so I'm out of here. It's coming, coming to that realization, realization. I mean, they came so, so, so close to, you know, Making a huge mistake, obviously. Luckily, somebody realized before it was too late that, nope, I can't do this. I'm, I can't. And it was meant to be because she knows, somebody knows, whether it's the man or the woman, knows that this had to end. It just wasn't meant to be. So somebody is finding peace in their decisions or peace in the outcome. 
and realizing that there's a there is definitely something better and there is definitely something better so we have something better on the horizon for you and it's coming soon I really feel like it is the end of difficulty for sure you guys are moving your tens complete ten ten and death a chapter in your life is completing for good it's the end. It's the end of the, the circumstance that you have been stuck in. And you're headed towards a partnership that is absolutely at ease, you know, something very easy. <laughs> okay. I knew it. Okay. This is this is somebody that is going to really be perfect for you. Perfect. Brought to you from heaven above. Okay? That's what you're headed towards. Somebody that, you know, you can just you don't have to show off. It's just easy. It's just comfortable. It's just peaceful. I mean, look at it. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful connection. You are absolutely headed into a beautiful connection with somebody that you don't expect. Okay. You don't expect, but it's, it is somebody that, um, is probably not your usual type. But it's so easy, and when you when you touch this person's hand, it's going to be like, wow. You're going to feel it. You're going to feel the, the charge through the hand, okay? I don't know where that's coming from. Either way, you have another option that is better suited for you, and you are going to be coming in contact with this person very, very soon. Very soon. It's the perfect match. It really, really is. <laughs> it is. It's like, where have you been? Where have you been all my life? So yeah, I feel like, and it could, it could lead to marriage. It could lead to serious commitment. If you have not met this person yet, you can meet them at some sort of celebration. See, they're getting ready for a celebration. There's a, and maybe it's, and we have the three of cups under the air. And then we have this. Maybe it's time to celebrate the end of what was. There is a celebration here. It's a celebration of breaking free. It's a celebration of finding peace. You are going to be reunited with somebody that... And I said reunited, yes, with somebody that is meant to be in your life. Now, when I say reunited, I don't want you to get, get your, your, get all upset and think I don't want somebody from the past, okay? When I say reunited, this is brought to you from an angel that... We have soul contracts that we carry over from lifetime to lifetime to lifetime to lifetime. This angel is bringing two people together and uniting them, okay? These people, I think they have known each other before, whether it's in a past life or whatnot. Because like I, said, I just said, we have soul contracts. Okay, so which means like in the one lifetime you, you knew this person and in this next lifetime you're going to know them again, that kind of thing. So I feel like these two people are being brought together. I think it is a, a soulmate connection in which you've known this person before and you're going to be reunited with this person very, very, very soon. Um, do I think it's somebody in this lifetime that you have met in this lifetime? I don't. I don't. I'm going to be honest with you. I think this is somebody new, but you have known before. Okay? That you have, you're have. you going to feel, like I said, the familiarity. Like what I said, when you touch their hand, it's going to be, it's going to be like, oh, there you are. It's going to be so easy. It's going to be very, very easy. An easy connection. So this is what you deserve. Okay? 
It's what you deserve for enduring the pain that you have been through. I know, I can see the pain here. So, you know, I feel like you are about to experience a new peaceful connection with somebody. It's a soulmate connection. And it's going to lead you down a new path. A completely new path. The worst is over. It really is. So be prepared. Be prepared. If you have not met this person, you're going to meet this person at a gathering. At some sort of celebration. Okay? You're going to meet this person if you haven't met them already. That's what I got. Talk to you next time. Good luck.